Oh, you gotta love it. Absolute joy in Fort Worth tonight. The TCU Horn Frogs are in the college football playoffs. The Frogs held their breath until very late this morning. When they learned, they made it. Joe Trahan is in studio now. So Joe, that loss in the Big 12 title game forgiven and a perfect regular season rewarded. You can't beat that moment of recognition oh, that they had. It's so cool, I isn't it? I love it, I love right? it, yeah. It's, it's hypnotoad for the win, there I you think. Go. And you know, TCU's rise to college football power this season reads like an ESPN 30 for 30 documentary. What if I told you a team with a losing record last year with a brand new coach picked to finish seventh in the Big 12, played its backup quarterback, and made it to the college football playoff? It's what I love about sports, though. The Frogs took advantage of the meritocracy that sports is at its best. And what a wild ride in the last 24 hours. TCU quarterback Max Duggan's oh-so-gutty performance in the Big 12 championship game, rallying the Frogs from a double-digit fourth-quarter deficit to come up just short in overtime. But those tears of sorrow replaced with the elation of new life when the announcement was made today. The Frogs earning the third seed in the playoff, so on New Year's Day, they'll face Michigan in the Fiesta Bowl with a ticket to the national championship game on the line. To be able to get an opportunity, um, you know, get a shot to go to the playoff and, you know, two games away from, you know, being in the national championship and winning one, um, yeah, it's surreal. But, you know, we got a lot of work to do, you know, great Michigan team playing. It's going to be a great opportunity for us. It's great when group like this gets recognition, it gets an opportunity, because uh, it really is a special team, a special collection of young people, and you know, I'm just honored to have an opportunity to be a part of it and be along for the ride. And there's so much history, it'll be the first time that TCU has played Michigan. The Frogs are also the first Big 12 team not named, not named Oklahoma and the first Texas team to make this iteration of the college football playoff. TCU opening as a nine and a half point underdog to Michigan but they've thrived in the underdog role before, so line them up and let's play.